I want. Oh, sorry, I've got to pick something up. Okay. I love this. Hello, guys, and welcome to D Discovery. I am Ariel Shala. In today's tutorial video, I'll be teaching you how to do a clone effect. While doing a clone effect is not really the issue, but having your cloned characters interacting with an object. Don't panic, I've got an easy way to help you do that. To shoot a video like this one, you need to download PowerDirect Tool Hub on your mobile phone and also shoot your video on a tripod. So let's get started. Now let's launch our Power Directo Hub. We're selecting new project. And for the project name, let's put clone effect. And for the video aspect ratio, let's go for 16 ratio 9. Welcome to the default working page of the PowerDirect Tool Hub. The first thing we're going to do now is to import our video clip. We do that by clicking on the camera file here. And you click on the video to be imported and you press the plus icon. Now we've successfully imported our video. Right now we do some edits, some editing on the video. So we need to get rid of some unnecessary parts. And we do that by splitting and deleting the parts we do not want. So wants this part, this part to be deleted. So you click on the pencil icon here to do that. And you press split. And you click on the clip or footage to be deleted. And you press the delete button. I also don't want the other character in this clip so I want to get rid of it as well so we'll do the same thing by pressing the pencil icon and you press on the split icon here and delete the first clip is set now what we're going to do next is to import that same video clip but now as layer so to do that you press <clears throat> sorry to do that you press the layer icon here everything displayed here is under the top text and that is not what we need now so you move to video top so you can assess your video and you import the video this is our layer video. So we also need to do some editing to get rid of the unnecessary parts. So it should start somewhere here. So we need to split and delete the parts we do not want. So we want both video clip to begin at the same place on the timeline so to do that we need to drag this video to the to the beginning and how do we do that we do a long press on the video clip and drag so they're both at the beginning of the timeline so we need to scale the layer video up to fit the screen
the next thing we're going to do now is to ensure both video clips play at the same time and how do we do that we do that by pressing the pencil icon here so we can do a mask effect so this is the mask icon we are selecting linear and with this line you adjust so both clip could play at the same time This arch line is very noticeable. It doesn't make the video look professional. So we need to get rid of that. And this is how we do that. Press on a press the layer video and press the pencil icon and you go to the mask effect. So use this vertical line to get rid of that. So we're putting this as we're putting this at two. We do not want to overdo it lest we erase the next character. So 15 will be very bad. So let's put it at two. Two or two. See, the line is gone. What we're going to do now is to see what we've done. Let's see how it appears. So it seems the first character was late to the scene. So we need to do more split and delete. So somewhere here, let's split here, split and delete. And let's see what we've got. Okay. Okay, the next character could not pick the book. Well, so we need to do another masking effect. And to do that without obstructing what we've done so far, we need to do another splitting. So you click the layer video so the pencil icon could appear. And you press the pencil icon and you split. So now we do a mask effect for this splitted clip so let's drag to the other side so the character does not exceed its boundary by reaching for the book so let's see that Cool. So we also need to trim this so both clip could hang at the same time. Split and delete. Our video is set now. So the final thing we're doing is to export. You can do that using the button here. So click on save to gallery or is the card and put and click on produce. I want hope oh, sure I've got to something out I love this. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to put a thumb up and share. Comment down below on what video you want you would want me to do next. And finally, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out any future video from this channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.